So is is a bean, and it is it's a legume. It can be consumed fresh, or it can be um, as a flour, or it can be toasted as soy nuts. Um, it comes in various forms. It doesn't go through a lot of processing. It's very minimal processing, so you retain all the nutrients. You know, you you keep the protein intact, the fiber intact, and the 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 good fats. It also has the omega-3 fatty acid, uh, um, which is uh, an essential part of the diet. And it ha also has vitamins and minerals. So um, when it's minimally processed, it is whole soy. Whole soy is when you have, say, roasted soybean. They're called soy nuts. You can have edamame. Those are fresh soybeans. And there is soy flour. Uh, tempeh is also whole soy. So there are different products that you can get that's whole soy. The reason we like to recommend whole soy is because it retains all the components what soy has. It has the fiber, the protein, the, the essential fatty acids, the healthful fats, and also the vitamins and minerals. And of course, when you look in the marketplace, there are parts of the soy available. You have the tofu, you have um, soy milk, and and they also sell the uh, isoflavones um, as a capsule. So there are, those are the components, but when you eat the whole soy, you get all the components that are present in soy.